Hello my beautiful darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about seductive body language. And yes, how to be seductive through your body language because it has such a big impact when you go on a date, when you want to seduce. And having this kind of femme fatale way of moving that can make any man go crazy about you. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, I talk about fashion, femininity, and elegance. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, follow me on my Instagram, which is at Lisa Hardstyle. So, so how to have this femme fatale way of moving, a beautiful, irresistible, seductive way of moving. I want to talk about, first of all, the hip swinging when you're walking. Hip swinging when you're walking is very much seductive, very much beautiful and feminine. So you want to add femininity in all of your movement. Femininity is really, really powerful. It makes men go weak. You know, being more feminine, especially in your movement, is very much seductive. It's very much a trick in seduction. You can see that with Marilyn Monroe. She has very much a seductive, beautiful way of moving. You see that with Rita Hayworth. You see that with uh, Dita. So the natural hips is just when you walk you have those hips that are balanced balancing naturally of course you want to have that you want to accentuate that especially when you're wearing heels it, it accentuates even more and when you walk what you want to do is you want to have one feet in front of the other like this when you walk is just accentuate your hips you can try it in front of the mirror right now when you put one foot in front of the other it accentuate your hips even without having to exaggerate anything even without having to actually accentuate the hips also having a seductive look when you walk sensual look seductive look are very much with the eyes the eyes are so seductive it's just a representation of the soul you know any man can be completely drawn to you just by your look your eyes you know uh, the kind of looking down looking up kind of way the kind of eyes on the side like this you know the kind of the kind of look also when you put your head on the bottom and you look up very very effective because if you do that then men on the other hand feel powerful because they feel taller they feel more you know protective and they want to protect you it feels like it's a submission kind of way of looking and it's very much attractive for men <laughs> uh, you know when a woman is looking at him and like it's very much like she's admiring him like oh my god he's so strong he's so tall do you want me to play it yes Especially when you have a man that is taller than you, it's just really like, oh, those big eyes, innocent eyes, and just, you know, looking. When you put your head down like this, you just accentuate your eye contact, you accentuate your look and how you look at the person. Angelina Jolie is very much doing this in every single of her movies, and that's why also she has such a deep, strong eye contact that makes your eyes look very strong and very very powerful and then maybe on the side and then maybe you know you look at something else and then maybe you look again and you have this eye contact you know you don't be afraid to look at people in the eyes or if you're more shy you know you can also play with that you know you can also play with being shy uh, you can be <laughs> and maybe touching your hair a little bit it's always natural always find a balance that is natural of course when you stand you can stand in a way that is very much feminine like putting your hips on the side like this is very much feminine having your hands like this is very much elegant so you can have a very elegant feminine posture look at Marilyn when she's walking when she's talking she has this kind of you know uh, very much a beautiful posture moving slowly very very feminine and very much in touch with your feminine movements and your feminine power also the way you talk you should talk more slowly if you want to be more seductive and sensual talk in a more sensual way like a femme fatale like Jessica Rabbit goodbye Eddie my offer stands firm think about it and you can take your time to talk you can take your time oh you know something happened to me the other day but I don't know if I really should talk about it I'm not bad I'm just drawn that way 
you know and you add some smile you add some smiles you add the eye contact you add the body language everything is just going to mix all together is going to make you look really really feminine really would you like to know whether i enjoyed it when you talk more slowly and you articulate very well it's very much more seductive and sensual when i talk that way when i talk and have a lower voice or maybe I have a higher pitched voice and I'm just talking but slowly at the same time. You're Mr. Franklin, aren't you? Are you enjoying your trip? Oh. How many times have you crossed? This is my uh, third... Don't you feel alone out on a big ocean? Well, I... Uh... I just adore a conversation, don't you? Okay. So it's either higher pitched voice or lower voice. You know you don't have to act with me, Steve. You don't have to say anything and you don't have to do anything. Oh, maybe just whistle. You can talk more slowly and taking your time and at the same time you can also, you know, touch your arms like this. Oh my god, yes, I don't know. Oh, you know what happened the other day? I was talking with my sister and she talked to me about this and that. What about you? And it just attracts the men to your body without having to show your body without having to do anything you're just touching it yourself and i'm not saying like don't be anything that is too vulgar we don't want to be vulgar but you know touching in your arms like this touching at your wrist and just talking at the same time and you know telling him a story and um you know having your head on the side also is kind of very much oh really oh wow Oh, that's interesting. You touch at your arms uh, very, very slowly, you know, very much slowly. And then you lean towards him and you're like, oh, really? Oh, tell me more about it. You have to actually move slowly, like you are taking the whole time in the world to talk, to walk, and to move, and to dance, and anything is just slowly sensual irresistible you just taking your time to do anything anything in the world takes so much time <laughs> rather than even i'm talking like this you know i'm talking in a way that is more aggressive a little bit more you know less sensual blah blah blah, blah. and of course you can have this you can have you can talk in a way that is like this but in other situation if you want to seduce that's another way of talking you know sorry i'll be sexy again anyway um so where are we going what's the plan well i will tell you when we get there oh good i love secrets if you are at work of course you're going to talk you're not going to be like hello so i have this presentation that no <laughs> no this is not going to be you're not going to be taken seriously you're going to be taken as a probably as someone that want to flirt too much <laughs> no and especially as women we want to be taken seriously at work so don't do this at work when i'm talking about sensuality it's always towards seduction of course also something about touching your hair when you talk is something very attractive also it just attract him to your hair not too often not fixing your hair every five minutes but just you know touching your hair gently like this as you talk and you know it's just natural and you talk to him about a story that happened to you and oh my god it's just so unbelievable very much putting your hair on the side also it's very much sensual it just attracts the attention to your neck and your neck is something that is so sensual so beautiful and it's very much full of pheromones full of sensuality and men notice those little things having your head on the side and just you know when you put your hair you're just talking also don't hesitate to be closer to men it's something that i learned also about gilda in the movie gilda she's very much closer to men when she talks to them she's very much here like oh really and because you're so nice i'm going to show you something my husband gave it to me for a coming home present is it cute Fifty thousand pesos and it's cute isn't she fabulous johnny She's very much into the personal space of the man. Personal, I hope. No, I was just tossing away my frustration. And it landed right on me. Maybe that means something? Oh, it does. 
it means we're gonna have a drink together and it's totally okay if it's about seduction you know I'm not saying you should do that to everybody I'm talking about only in a purpose of seduction but being closer to him and talking and leaning towards him it's going to be you know a uh, breaking that ice especially at the beginning of the first date breaking the eyes of you are a stranger <laughs> you just lean towards him and you're like oh wow oh really something happened to you like this and at the same time you touch here which is your chest area that is very much seductive you know and that can grab a little bit of attention to your chest that is very much feminine <laughs> no need to be vulgar here just something natural something that just like Oh really? Oh wow, I didn't know that. You can also, you know, ask him about something and leaning towards him and lowering your voice. Oh, but you know, I, I would have a question and it's maybe a silly question, but what do you think about this blah 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 blah? You know? Does that mean you won't be charging us for the hour? Dump him. You can't nail his ass. Fascinate me. Also, asking for advice to men, oh my god, they love it. They love giving you advice because they're very much into fixing problems. You know, really being that strong man that can save you, you the princess. So if you're asking for advice towards him and you're leaning towards him when you do this, of course it's going to make him melt. Of course smiling smiling a lot men love women that are smiling they love positive women they love you know a woman that can smile that can laugh and that can have humor Hilda, are you decent me smizing is very important also when you have a man across the room that you want to attract attention you're not going to smile like Haha, this is going to look silly <laughs> you are going to have smiles you know like this is nice. Touching the other person too is very much powerful, ladies. Then very much don't hesitate, but don't be too touchy in all of that. You don't want to appear like you are the one chasing him because you're not chasing him. We let them chase us. You can really touch his arms like this, like, oh really? And then take it away. Like a couple of seconds, not too long, not too long. Touching his back, like, oh yes, absolutely. Touching his arms. When you're talking, you know, and he's next to you, you can touch his arms like, but never too long. Or when you're laughing, you know, <laughs> you're laughing and you're just like, <laughs> like this but not too long as i said you don't want to be like too touchy miss touchy and everything after all we want him to make the first moves we want him to that's him that initiate all of the moves of course everything has to be with balance and you don't have to exaggerate everything i'm just showing you here a little bit more exaggerate because i want you to see what i'm doing but it has to be natural it has to be not overly done it has to be like it's a part of you part of your essence that you're just completely naturally like this so thank you for watching my darlings let me know in the comments down below if you have any question and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my instagram which is at lisa Hearthstyle. Until next time, take care and I'm giving you so much kisses and I love you all. Mwah. Goodbye.